Yeah, you are watching the series of most disturbing films and we have come to part 5. I don't have much to say but start talking about the movies for an instant. For the complete list you can always look into the description and for more details you can watch the video. Raw. Raw might be the preciest example of disturbing films. It was unbelievably gory but at the same time never made it completely disgusting even though into close to it. Raw provides a whole another level of cinematic experience which no other movie ever did before. The story here is of a vet student who is a vegetarian and stays away from all kinds of problems from college but since the first day eating raw meat and invading into crazier stuff she starts craving for more raw flesh. The cinematography was perfect that remains in the top 10 best I've encountered. The shots as the scene under the blanket, the mirror dance or the painted bath are example that Julia Doko knew in places. It was haunting, wildly erotic and at the same time bloody that resulted in some deadly combination this film is. Mais tu trembles Oh fuck ma chatte Quoi Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as fait Hereditary. I really had no idea about this film when watching it for the first time. I remember watching it because WatchMojo considered it the best film of 2018 which was a terrible year of movies for me. And when I watched the film, guess what? It blew me up. Like literally. It changed me. It changed my idea of horror movies forever. While Hereditary is the best horror film I have seen in my life, it also has the most shocking and unexpected scene ever that stopped me from sleeping for the next two days. And I had to watch it again in 24 hours. Hereditary is a family horror but just the most unique of the tones. Here the characters reacted most realistically that most horror movie character usually doesn't. They truly felt scared and for a moment it didn't feel like a movie which makes a horror film more impactful and heart-throbbing. The disturbing elements in Hereditary were used more as a shock element and Ari Aster in his debut did it remarkably fine. Climax As with other Gaspar no pictures, Climax is visually repulsive as well. It is intriguing, creeping, haunting and above all crazy. You will find a hard time watching it second half. Even though for me it's far from reality comparing to his other works but Climax is rewatchable because it's surprisingly entertaining. The story centered on several dancers in a remote school building celebrating and relaxing until something really bad happens. I would hate to break that down. The film was crazy. Every single frame of it was insane, shot so perfectly by the cinematographer Benoit Deby. That made it even more unique. The color sequence, something that Gaspar Noe gets mainly focused on in his every film, the writing, the performance from Sofia Bortla completed the film. But it was not perfect. It was distracted from reality for its over-dramatization until the end. But climax may have some special effect on you because it's unlike any other movie. The Lighthouse. Few times in my life I got movies like The Lighthouse where I have no complaints about the film and neither a flaw I found. I am not sure but it might be the best dark comedy I have ever seen. I had some laugh from these films that any comedies failed to provide me. The Lighthouse is a folk tale about two lighthouse keepers getting stuck on an island for a limitless time and slowly going crazy for the endless isolation. I want a steak! I want a goddamn steak! I... <laughs> if I had a steak... Oh boy, oh, a rare, a bloody steak. If I, if I had a steak, I would fuck it. Instead of looking into the story depth, I always love to enjoy a film for its dialogue, cinematography, performance, and other technical aspects. And that way, The Lighthouse fits perfectly for my taste and it entertained me from the core. Besides, the writing was distinctive. Robert Eggers used old English in his previous film, The Witch, as well. And it helped to make those movies more frightful. And that's why, after everything, Mr. Eggers deserves specific regards for his unusually masterful writing. Bad luck to kill a seabird. Midsommar. The most eminent thing about Midsommar for me was it made me sure about myself that Ari Aster is the best modern film director. One thing that Ari Aster did perfectly in both his films Hereditary and this was giving an unexpected shock in the most aversive way possible. It was not that the scenes were crazily disturbing or no other movie went that far showing violence but Ari Aster's were more disturbing because he built his characters. And I said before disturbing movies that feel real truly scared you. Midsommar is one of them. It constructed its characters. The film was detailed every moment the activity so well imagined by the director. It was not so captivating for its long run time but as much as it went by it was fascinating. While movies like these are considered to have some deep meanings inside them I tend to avoid them. I loved the effect of it, the effect it had on me. It took me a whole new different world for two and a half hours straight and put me out so slowly and delicately when it ended. <laughs> That was the end of the part. Share your views on these movies. Also comment down the most disturbing films you have seen to be a part of my video. Most disturbing films people seen till then. Take care and keep watching movies.